have a treasure hunt today for LWML treasures because we have lots of them available on our website. Um, so everybody should have one of the purple coated treasure maps. And on the back, you'll see a place for you to take notes and to uh, keep track of the treasures that, that you find, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take several little voyages to search for LWML treasures. Each voyage is going to have three clues and a time limit of about five minutes so that we have the t a time to go around at least three voyages, okay? Um, so we'll give you the clues, we'll give you some time to do some searching, and uh, then we will go over the answers to the clues and, and tell you all about the treasures. So the object is to find all the LWML treasures related to the clues, and all of that will be provided up here. The participants can keep track of their points on their treasure map, and we will give some bonus points for any unique or new, unique, new ideas for using the LWML treasure. So we'll take some time as we're going over the answers to, uh, to let you provide some information for the others attending here on ways that they could use those resources. Okay, so we're going to start with a pre-voyage treasure. Um, so we're going to give you uh, five points if you have the LWML app installed on your phone. So you can just do that. If, who doesn't have the app and who would like to get it? Okay. I will uh, give you some instructions in just a minute. You probably can figure out how to get that app, right? All right. Um, so everybody's good with the app here. Um, the other thing is um, I would suggest that um, you can use the app or you could go uh, directly to the lwml.org website. And you know, you can, if you're familiar with that website, you'll be able to find the treasures a little bit quicker, probably. Um, anybody need help with the app? You got the app. You get five points. You got the app. Or you need help. Okay. Okay. Are we ready to get started on the first voyage? Yes. Voyage number one. We have three clues. What are the first three words spoken by reader two of the mission grant devotion for grant number one? Number two is, what is the theme Bible verse for the December 2018 monthly program? And then thirdly, how many Bible studies feature the theme of balance? So we'll have about five minutes or so. We'll see how you're doing. So let's go over the treasures. So what were are the first three words spoken by reader two of the Mission Grand Devotion for grant number one? Lord help us. Absolutely, Lord help us. So if your group got it or you got it, you just make you give yourself a point. Um, what is the theme Bible verse for the December 2018 monthly program? Very good. And how many Bible studies feature the theme of balance? Three. Three. Okay, any questions on, on how to find the answers to those? Find those treasures. Any questions? Okay. Um, so now um, I'd like to award the group that finished first an extra point. And uh, now I will entertain any unique or
for uh, new ideas on using any of these treasures that, that we found. So this idea of the, the mission grant devotion, I think you could talk like integrate that into Advent dinner. It's like maybe put some cards on the table and maybe have the, the pastor or someone like in the opening prayer talk about this. And then you could ask people to donate to the night box and the ladies to the Anybody else? Uh huh. The Advent and the devotion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these the mission grant. Yeah. To read the story and just do the Awesome part of it. Yeah. Anybody else have some ideas that would like to share? Talk to your pastor about integrating the Lord help us all all of this into an evidence sermon series or even a Lenten sermon series because this is a little bit broader. Mm -hmm. Would fit better with Lent. <laughs> um, and now I'm thinking this might be something we can work out with work out with the other district or circuit pastors to do as our Lenten service is because we are not about them. Awesome. So not only just in my church, but all six in the circuit. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, it's awesome. That's good. So these are true treasures here, mm -hmm. uh, and and everybody's going to get the benefit of these treasures because of these use of, use of these resources, right? So you guys can get that which one. One more, yes, sir. The use of the scripture passage I remember too to be used as a key verse for uh, rally. Mm -hmm. And then connect that with the theme of rally. Okay. Uh, you guys already got a point, so I mean, yeah. But yeah. These are all great ideas. <laughs> I'm, I'm, still, I'm still encouraging ideas. Yeah, this is for a point, but for the theme verse for the month, um, I wrote a Facebooker, and I'm in the district. And each month I use the monthly verse and like anything you find under each month. Yeah. Those program resources are awesome. Yes, yes. Very good. Okay. So a true treasure, better than silver and gold. <laughs> With such as I have you, lady. All right. Our our second voyage. Here we go. Number one is what Bible verse is used for the basis of LWML 103? Now, you'll see that there's a hint there, and what that hint means is that it's a video. So, um, so just to let you know that. So, what is the title of the feature article in the summer 2018 Lutheran Women's Quarterly? And what is the nurturing faith in Christ action? for sharing Jesus' love in November, November 2018. Go. Yep, there we go. So let's see what kind of treasures we have this time. So what Bible verse is used for the basis of LWML 103? You are correct. And it's in the new videos that just came out. Those are new resources. I believe they still have the PowerPoints for those. That's the LWML 101, 102, 103. Very nice to use in your um, in your society meetings or even zone meetings. Kathy, you said they still have the PowerPoints. I believe they still have the PowerPoints. Yes, they are, because you don't always have the resources to display videos. Yeah, so I do believe that they are still available. Okay, so what is the title of the feature article in the summer 2018 Lutheran Women's Quarterly? Yes, so all of the Lutheran Women's Quarterlies, um, uh, the feature articles are all archived on the website. So you can always go back and find them. If you do a search on the LWML website, you can, if you're looking for a particular subject, it will pull up anything from the Lutheran Women's Quarterly. I don't know if anybody uses those for Bible studies for your society meetings, but very good 
treasure to, to for use there. Okay, and then um, the last one. What is the nurturing faith in Christ action for sharing Jesus' love in November? It's a thankfulness journal. That is a very useful calendar. Um, they've been providing them uh, for all of 2018. I've asked them to provide it for 2019 because I know a lot of people use those. So uh, a great resource. All right. So we have a tie between the first one. So this group gets a point. That middle group gets a point again. And now we're looking for any unique ideas, of, unique or new ideas for any of these resources. Yes, ma'am. The calendar for the servant events and activities of the Christian life person for our district. And I made sure when I went to the website, I thought that was printed out for them to have. Because there's a lot of older women in our spirit. Yeah, and they still need it. They still need, they still need that resource. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We, have it. we need to communicate with all of the ladies. Because it doesn't say yeah. just the young women. It doesn't, yeah. So it, it's all of the women of the Lutheran. Just making sure that they have it. You know, I went to my zone round, and they asked how many of you have tears. Everybody wanted to win. But they didn't go where they have it. Now, red page ones, and that's something that also tell them mm -hmm. so they can locate it. So they can have to that you guys are scared of that computer. And that's when you're going to find them that one of that access. Now you're going to ask for help. Exactly. They'll help you. Yeah. Yeah. But great, great mm -hmm. items in, the, in that calendar. Can I have the thankfulness journal uh, with Encouraging people to put something in their mic box each day. Yes, and we need mics, right? Yeah, I like that. Yes, yeah, mic for this group as well. Anybody else? Yes, up here. You can also connect the thankfulness journals with uh, Sunday school, or if you have a, like an elementary school connected, you can do like a Thanksgiving potluck or something. Everyone can kind of look through, and you can have like a thankfulness chart where everyone writes what they're most thankful for. It's like multi-generational. Absolutely. Good idea. Extra point for this group. Anybody else? When I'm taking notes, I want you to know you're not just getting used to hear music. Treasures upon treasures. They do, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> All right. Our third voyage. What is the eighth item in the Gifts from the Heart Toolkit? for shut-ins in nursing homes. What are the three words immediately below the LWML logo in the church workers in mission brochure? And where was the 15th biennial LWML convention held? And who was the LWML president? So let's find out about these treasures. <laughs> so the eighth item in the gifts from the heart toolkit for shut-ins and nursing homes. Yep, mustard seeds. <clears throat> What are the three words immediately below the LWML logo in the church workers mission church workers in mission brochure? Building, sharing, partnering. Is correct. And the 15th biennial LWML convention was held in Mobile. Mobile. We're going back to Mobile. <laughs> and who was the LWML president? President Mons. Yes. Okay. So any unique or new ideas using any of these treasures? <coughs> That's just unique, but uh, when we visit nursing homes, bring the large print yeah. mustard seeds along with you as you go visit. We have ice cream socials, so we incorporate the large print mustard seeds when we do our ice cream social when we visit the nursing home. That's nice. That's nice. Those kits are kind of nice because they kind of give you a, um, a, 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 a checklist of things that you should consider, right? Yeah, right. So, yeah. So, you've already kind of used that. Yes, sir. I should. You go first. 
um, equip our pastors to take the large part of the seat out. I, mean, I didn't even know they existed. There you go. But piggybacking up on what you just said, with those mustard seeds, the way we use them. When you're at the nursing home, you don't just hand them out. No. You go through, you sit and dip. No, you go through them one on one. In nursing home, that's a big thing. People don't yeah. get close. Yeah. And then another thing, physical contact, put your hand on theirs and go through it with them. Um, can other, can other Yes. Absolutely. It's very good. So, points, points. Within. Within the God side there, if you go under in the word and go to mustard seed, there's a whole printout of how to be for me and for others. And inside the packets themselves, they give you ideas on how to use the mustard seeds. How many of you are subscribed to the daily mustard seed? Yeah, that's that's nice to us. Yes, and I believe that here, just while we're mentioning it, if you aren't getting some of the items uh, emailed to you, you can sign up and, and we'll get you signed up for uh, e-news, daily mustard seeds, two-minute Tuesdays, which is a short the press little devotion. Which all of you want to be part of. Yes, especially. Yep, yep. yep. That's a key quarterly. It's online, too, the quarterly. I bought uh, the ones that were on sale, so I bought two of each, so I could take, like they did yesterday, and um, get to them when we have to get prep for them, it's like that, the natural picture. Mustard seeds are awesome to get in, right? Right, and also the booklets. Okay, anything else on uh, unique or new ideas? We were just talking, I was asking them how I could do this in my activity when I do my training and where we go is a camp where we have no very poor internet and very little cell phone service. Yeah. Cell phone service. Okay. So Pastor was just and I were kind of brainstorming and um, I thought, well I could send this out before the training, like a little scavenger hunt thing, and say bring it with you and get them to go on their computers at home. And before they come. Before they come. Yeah. 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 It might and be then just cool. focus on the general resources yes. and treasures. Yes. yes. Yeah, or that's a good idea. I didn't think about that about. when when we put that together. That you know, to go back and do your training might be difficult. Yeah. Right. Now are you putting the template for this on the website? Everything is going to be on the website. Okay. So the PowerPoint and this, and um, yeah, you'll have everything there. Um, I have even um, we we need to finish up, right? Yes. We want, yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Um, I am going to give you some additional clues that you can take back because I wanted to try to cover most of the resource areas. Well, yeah, and you can get this online. Well, your district president can get it online. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we covered a lot of, of the resource areas. So, um, so there are some six more extra ones. And um, so we've got the questions and the answers. And um, there is even at the end of this presentation another voyage. So you get three more. Okay. Um, but right now, uh, Vice President uh, Jennifer would like to just say a few words. Okay. We brought treasure chests along. You've seen all these items at the store that you've gone through. And we talked about the three by five sites. Now they're on sale this morning except for three dollars. So that's a little bit by. And be sure and look at the other things that we have, especially the DVD Bible studies. I know that many of you have participated in those, but the new one where a lot of the Bible is filmed at the beginning and it's very good one. And they are not just for ladies. You know, if you have an evening Bible study group that's meeting uh, with your cousins or with men also, um, if they can read, they can read this. <laughs> no, I mean, but usually they don't like to do the studies, but they love the DVD. They can just come back there that night and enjoy the DVD Bible study with everybody. Um, another thing that I want you to notice is the resource planner. How many of you have used this as oh, okay, great. Oh, great. I, so you know. First I wrote something for it. Very good. <laughs> 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 um, but this is invaluable. This is 
two years of Bible studies, devotional sketches. Um, it's just something that you can use. It is free, downloadable. Mm -hmm. So you don't, or you can buy it at the store or you can afford it. Um, I had some other things. Oh, one thing I want to share with you. These are some of the ideas from the other session that we had that came up that I thought might be interesting for you. They take um, their group um, and they take them and give them a shutting. That's the name of their group. And they keep in contact with that shutting during the year. They send them a birthday card and might send them a note of uh, just I'm thinking about you. Uh, personal visit is nice too, but it's that contact that makes such a difference. Um, and then it says when you don't need things, put your elbows on the logo on anything that's done yet. Um, because if you're going to go to someplace else, somebody say, what does this sound like you want? If you have to explain who and what you are. Um, and, um, oh, and a lot of groups have a service project before they meet. But they're not going to meet. So we can have them get together. But you always need to have a body study. Whenever you get together, the main thing that you want that distinguishes us is we have Bible studies and we have my information. So I'm always continue that. Now, where you're at, we're going to let you stay there. We have a little group, um, I think, for everybody. If you do not have classes, you get a ribbon. Oh, everybody look at me. So we're good. One, two, three.